Well, the superintendent is very surprised at this point. She says only because they've been working so hard on trying to come up with a solution to this. But she says in some ways she knew this was coming. The bottom line is the district's enrollment is plummeting. You know what's coming and until it's spoken out loud, you don't know how to feel. Island Park School Superintendent on finding out that an emergency manager could be taking over her district. The state treasurer's office sends a report to the governor recommending an EM. I will continue working on a plan to reorganize as I've been doing for the last six months. The report paints a bleak picture of the district's finances. The review team says Highland Park Schools ran a deficit 51% higher than last year. It's now at 11.3%. $3 million. Enrollment plummeted too, from almost 3,200 students in 2006 to 969 students in classrooms this year. That's a 58% drop. We're looking at our enrollment. We're looking at the pupil allotment that we have. We projected um, a certain number. It fell short. We need to regroup, revise, and do some adjustments. But Edith Hightower, who has only been superintendent for 13 months, says the district is making progress. Last year, we privatized security, transportation, uh, security, maintenance, all of that. The school board will meet tomorrow at 6 p.m. for a special meeting to discuss their next step. And tonight at 6, we'll have a reaction from a parent and a school board member. Reporting live in Highland Park, I'm Tom Waite, 7 Action News. Tom, it sounds like the superintendent thinks it didn't, you know, these problems didn't come overnight and it's going to take a while to fix them and that they can do it, she believes. Yeah, right, exactly. I mean, they, they do think that she, she thought she had the time to, to work on this. She's only been here for 13 months, so she really wanted to focus on this. In some ways, she knew it was coming. In some ways, she was surprised because she thought, you know, if they just had more time, they could have fixed this. But right now, she just wants to work with whoever comes in here if that indeed does happen, and she wants to make uh, some changes that could help the district. Yeah, and help the students. Thank you.